What is an order suspending action? What is an OSA? So you reached a settlement with the insurance company. You signed settlement documents, either STIPS or a CNR, either one. You signed the settlement documents, the insurance company signed them, sent them into the WCAB. A judge looked through the settlement documents, issued an order suspending action. Basically, it means that a judge has some sort of issue with the settlement. It may be adequacy. Maybe the judge feels that the settlement is too low. Maybe you're settling out future medical care with a compromise and release. The judge just isn't quite sure that there's enough money in there for future medical care. The judge wants to discuss adequacy. Maybe that the insurance company forgot to file documents. It wasn't uncommon when I was a judge. I would get very straightforward stips. Injured worker, didn't have an attorney. Insurance company sent in the stips. Everything looked very straightforward, but they didn't file the medical report upon which the stips were based. No PTP or QME report. There's no way for me as a judge to determine adequacy because I can't see the report. Doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem with the settlement itself, but they just forgot to file the document. It may be that someone forgot to sign in a certain spot. Maybe there's a little bit of a discrepancy between a party listed on the STIPS and a party that's listed in EAMS. Those don't quite match up. Maybe someone forgot to file a substitution of attorneys along the way. Defense attorney didn't file it and EAMS shows a different attorney. Maybe there's something sloppy on the STIPS or the CNR. I would see that when I would get settlement documents. They would be faxed to an injured worker, faxed back to the insurance company, scanned, signed, faxed again, scanned again. Oh, the documents were a mess. It was hard to read some of the information. And then I, as a judge, couldn't quite tell, are they settling the left arm or the left hand? Because it's such a mess, I can't even tell. So that is an order suspending action or an OSA. The judge is saying, I'm going to pause everything I'm not going to approve the documents. I'm not going to reject the documents. I'm just going to pause them because I need to get something clarified. The judge will usually issue this order suspending action and outline what it is that the judge needs to see. He or she will spell out, I need to be uh, get a clearer copy of the settlement documents. The QME report needs to be filed with the board. Uh, the parties need to clarify what this means in section seven. Then the matter will often always or often be set for a status conference as well. That way it keeps the matter on calendar, kind of keeps the uh, things moving along so that it doesn't fall by the wayside. Ideally, if the corrective documents or the corrective action is filed with the board before the status conference comes around, the judge can then take action on those documents and either approve or reject the settlement documents or the judge may want to wait until the status conference comes around. I know I had situations where, as the judge, I would look at a settlement document. Uh, I wasn't quite sure it was adequate. I would set it for a status conference because I wanted to talk to the injured worker, make sure that the injured worker understood what they were settling. The, settle or the insurance company the representative or maybe the defense attorney would file documents, uh, try to persuade me that the document should be approved. But it may just be that the judge wants to talk to the injured worker and make sure they understand or to have the uh, injured worker talk to information and assistance, the INA officer. But that is an order suspending action. Basically, it's a pause button on the settlement documents. The judge is saying, I'm not going to approve them. I'm not going to reject them. Does everybody hold? I need to get something clarified. And that OSA should spell out what the judge wants. Ideally, that gets fixed. It gets sent in. The settlement gets approved and everybody moves on. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button down below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos.